Swimsuit technology swam out of control since the last Olympics. In 2008, Speedo unveiled its groundbreaking laser racer shortly before the Beijing Olympics. By 2009, some swimmers were wearing rubber suits at the World Championships in Rome. 43 world records fell at that meet. Then, the international governing body for swimming, FINA, stepped in with 15 pages of rules on what can be worn in the water. I think FINA saw that problem and went really far back in the technology, um, but I, I, I really was a big fan of the laser and I thought it was um, fair. This is the first Olympics since the high-tech suits were banned. 14-time Olympic gold medalist Michael Phelps is not overly confident that world records will fall in London like they did in Beijing. You're probably going to see a couple. I don't know if they'll be for me. I don't know who they'll be from, but you can see fast times, and I mean, it'll definitely happen. But given the change in the suit from Beijing, is that Doesn't causing matter. any problems? If somebody wants a record, it's going to be broken. We have only seen one world record since the high-tech suits were banned, and that was last summer in the World Championships in Shanghai with Ryan Lochte. So he's been the one to kind of set that bar. No one has come up yet to break another record. Here in London, if world records fall inside the aquatic center, swimmers are hoping that more credit is given to the athlete instead of the swimsuit. And I'm getting on the blocks and I'm racing. I put the hard work in. shouldn't be about what I'm wearing, but more so me, you know, and my team. World records or not, Michael Phelps says this is his final Olympics. Mark Carlson, Associated Press, London.